This is a brief introduction into internet browsers. Um, the browser I'm going to be demonstrating on today is Internet Explorer. It comes with all versions of Windows. Windows 95, 98, Millennium, 2000, XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7. It's part of the Windows operating system. That's why we're going to be using Internet Explorer. Now there are different kinds of internet browsers. You've got Mozilla, you've got Opera, you've got Firefox. Um, they all do the same thing. They all allow you to browse the internet. That's what a browser does, is it allows you to browse the internet. Now, um, the best description I can do, the best analogy I can make to a browser is, is it, it's kind of like a TV. Um, a TV allows you to view different channels that are coming in through cable, that are coming in through um, satellite, that are coming over the airwaves. Now they're digital channels, but um, it allows you to view all the different channels. And that's, that's kind of what a browser, an inter internet browser does, is it allows you to view web pages that are out there on the internet, such as Facebook, MySpace, Yahoo, Google, uh, any web page out there on the internet is basically what an internet browser allows you to view. Now, some basic concepts. If you we're going to start by double clicking on the E. And whenever you double click on any browser, by default, it's going to take you to the internet homepage, which is basically the starting point. You know, if you're back in the old days on a TV where you had to change the actual channel, you know, if you left the channel on 2 when you turned on the TV, the TV was going to turn on on channel 2. So, it's basically your default web page. Now let's say you don't like your default web page. We don't want to go to this web page. Fine. Uh, the first thing you do in order to change that is you go over here to Tools. And then you'll scroll down to Internet Options. Now these are going to be the different options for your web page. Now you'll see by he default here it goes to go.microsoft.com you know so it's going to be going to a redirected web page let's say we want to go to Yahoo so we'll type in www.yahoo.com and click apply And then we now that you're going to see it puts in the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash which every web page it's basically calling the HTTP calls the web browser and then you click OK now that we've done that you're saying well Jason my web page hasn't changed this is true this is very true so we'll close out Internet Explorer We'll double click on Internet Explorer again. And notice where it's actually starting up. The first web page it's starting up on is www.yahoo.com, which is what we just changed our web page to. I hope this primer explains a little bit about web pages and how to change a basic setting on your web page um, and you can change it to whatever you want before we close if you don't like Yahoo you can go to tools go down to internet options again and let's say we just want Google www.google.com click apply and then OK and once again you're gonna say Jason it didn't change that's fine nothing to get concerned about we just close out Internet Explorer 
and the next time we open up Internet Explorer, it's going to open up to the web page that we just chose, just like it did Yahoo. Voila, here we are. Um, I'd love feedback. Any questions or comments or any things for future for future uh, topics, uh, feel free to email social at 7-gi.com and I'm going to put up a little tag here so that you can see that. And I appreciate your time and y'all have a wonderful day.